Hey guys, welcome back. Here's another uh, quick video. I'm uh, back on that uh, Zenith 5S29 from the mid 1930s and uh, I'm going to start out here by testing the uh, power transformer. So we'll do some basic uh, DC resistance measurements and here I've already got the uh, voltmeter hooked up and I'm looking again at the uh, DC resistance and I'm off the uh, primary side of the transformer. And I'll show where I'm testing here in a uh, picture in picture but uh, again I'm going through the switch so you can see that the switch itself is working and again I'm reading just under uh, 10 ohms of resistance and that's uh, you know very very typical for a primary on the input side of a transformer so let's move over and maybe take a look at the uh, the filaments real quick and then we'll spin over and uh, check out the uh, high voltage there off of the uh, the plates or diodes okay I know this is uh, probably very difficult to see on camera and my apologies I don't have a better camera angle at this time but uh, I'm testing again between uh, pins 2 and 8 and uh, that would be again the uh, filament of the uh, 5Y3 tube and I'm reading you know about 0 0.2, 0 0.1 ohms and that's what I've typically seen before on a meter looking at DC resistance you'll see it fluctuating around there but we'll uh, do some testing here on the voltage and bring this up again the uh, voltage at this point it should be somewhere around 5 volts AC with about 117 volts applied to the uh, primary side of the transformer. Alright, let's move on over and uh, check the high voltage side of the uh, transformer. See what we've got there. Okay, now I'm back on the tube again and I'm back between pins number 4 and number 6. And again, I'm showing that in a picture in picture just for a representation of where I'm at. And again, you can see that's the plate um, there, the rectifier tube, and I'm reading uh, about 361 ohms. So again, I'm at the, uh, the total winding. Let's get that center tap location and just make certain that the resistance is about half of what we're reading on the meter at this point in time. So again, we'll be looking for about half of the 361. Okay, here we go. I've got the uh, meter hooked up again. I'm going to look across that center tap, and again, I'll represent that here on the schematic so you can see where I'm testing. And it uh, looks uh, pretty good. Again, I'm between, let's see, pins number four and the uh, capacitor C13 or C9. And I'm reading about 173 ohms. So you never really find these transformers to be exact. And let's see what we get here. So here's the other side, and I'm reading 191. So let's see, 191, 173, it's 364. And so that's pretty close. So I was reading 361 across the entire secondary on the high voltage side. Alright, so I think I'll bring this up very, very slow on the Variac. We'll check voltage and we'll also look and make sure uh, we don't have any current flow and uh, see what we get. Okay, something else we want to test real quick is just look at that 6.3 volt winding. Again, we'll check uh, AC here in a minute but a tube that's easy to get to, and I think I've got this uh, position correctly, is going to be the 6K7 tube, which will be right here. Again, we're looking at that from the underneath side of the chassis, and we'll want to focus again on the uh, heater, which will be uh, pins 2 and 7. So again, counting uh, clockwise here, this will be the uh, connection point 2. This is pin 8. This will be pin 7. And I know this is probably not showing up on uh, camera well. Let's see if I can get my meter there just to hang on for a minute. You can see I'm reading about uh, 0.2 ohms, and that's what uh, you typically see. I think I, um, in most cases, see you know 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 ohms of uh, DC resistance. 
So um, just for giggles, um, I've already done some uh, DC measurements, again, between the primary, secondary, and primary back to ground, secondary back to ground. I didn't read any shorts, but uh, this wiring's kind of a mess here on the tube socket, so I think I got some false positives there on one reading. But I'll bring it up uh, very slow on the Variac, and uh, we'll look at some of the voltage readings here. And also check for the uh, any uh, current flow on the transformer, which would indicate uh, an internal issue. So let me get everything set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's see what we uh, get here. I'm going to uh, test, again, one side of that high voltage uh, primary. So I'm going to be between uh, pins 4, which is uh, one of the plates, and the uh, center tap position. So uh, let me flip on the Variac. And we'll bring this thing up very, very slow. And I'm just a little north of uh, 50 volts AC input, and you can see the uh, output voltage there of around 156 uh, volts on the AC side. And I'm drawing about 0 0.02 amps of current. So let me go ahead and uh, ramp this thing up a little bit more. Okay, I'm about uh, 73 volts here on the uh, primary input. And you can see the AC output here on the high voltage uh, winding that we're checking is about uh, 221 volts. The uh, AC current still looks good as well, tremendously low. Okay, I'm right at 100 volts, and you can see I'm reading about uh, 304 volts, 303 and some change. And my AC current is about 0 0.08 amps of current. Let's uh, move it on up a little. Okay, for reference, I've got uh, 117 volts AC input on the primary side, and again, you can see I'm reading about 353 volts on that secondary side, and again, this is on the uh, center tap position. I'll show that again on the uh, schematic where I'm reading that uh, voltage for uh, others that may do a restore on this particular radio in the future. And it shows, again, I'm drawing about uh, 0.1 amp of current, 0.1. All right, let me document this. I'm going to shut down uh, the Variac, and then uh, we'll bring it back up slowly and look at the other side and see what we got. Again, we're uh, on pin number four, which is uh, plate two on the 5Y3. So we'll switch over, look at uh, number 6 uh, to center tap and make sure the voltage is uh, somewhat close. Okay, let's get started here again. I'll be between the uh, high voltage winding uh, number 6, which is uh, plate 1, and the uh, center tap position. We'll get the uh, Variac turned on. And I'll go ahead and start bringing the uh, AC voltage up. Here I'm sitting about uh, 73 volts ACN, 
and about uh, 219 out. Okay, here I'm looking at about 100 volts ACN on the primary side, and again I'm producing about uh, 299 AC on the uh, output side. Let me go ahead and ramp it on up to about uh, 117. Again, this voltage will be less under load, but uh, you can see we're about 353, 354 volts. And again, that's with uh, 117 on the uh, primary side, producing about, them again, 353, 354 on the uh, AC output side. Okay, let's move over real quick and check the uh, 5 volt winding for the uh, filaments there of the uh, 5Y3 and then we'll check and make sure the heater is good. We've got around 6.3 volts back over here on that uh, 6K7 tube. Okay again I'm going to do some testing here for the uh, 5Y3 the uh, filaments here and uh, we should get somewhere around 5 volts or a little more. So we'll see what we get. around uh, 67 volts, 68 volts, climbing to about 70 and I'm about 3.34. Okay, I'm right at uh, Again, 117 volts. Again, there's no load on the uh, radio, so the voltage will read just a bit higher to be expected. And uh, it's looking great. 5.4 uh, volts AC. Uh, looking good so far. So let's move over and check the heater on that uh, 6K7 between pins uh, 2 and 7. Make sure we get somewhere around uh, 6.3 or just a little more. Okay, I've got the uh, leads now hooked up again to the heaters there on the uh, or the heater on the 6K7. Again, my connection points is uh, indicated here on my uh, picture and picture or between uh, pin 2 and 7. So let's uh, fire up the old uh, Variac and uh, bring up the voltage and see what we get. Okay, again, no load on the uh, receiver itself at this point. And you can see I'm running just a little north of uh, 6.3, which is expected. So I'm at 6.7 volts AC. So uh, best I can tell, this transformer is uh, working great. Again, we'll put it under load, get a rectifier tube in. Once we get the restore done, we'll get a true indicator. But uh, all indications here from the uh, DC resistance readings. Uh, the, everything looks good, and uh, health-wise, it looks good here. Looking at the actual uh, performance or AC output of the uh, transformer as well. Okay guys, I just wanted to uh, share that with you real quick. I know it's a short video, uh, probably not too, too informative, but again, it's just uh, showing my uh, you know, progress along the way. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this transformer removed from the chassis because there's significant rust 
on the uh, transformer itself it appears and around the chassis in that area as well and uh, I know this is probably not showing up on camera but these solder points uh, connections too are very very poor so I'm going to have to rework everything around the tube socket anyway so it's a great opportunity here to get this uh, transformer unbolted get it out of the uh, get just kind of get it out of my way and then I can get in here later on and uh, get this cleaned up so um, We'll move on in just a moment, and uh, in another video I'll pick up, just to try to keep these uh, somewhat short, and uh, we'll do some additional testing here on uh, some of the coils, and uh, make sure they're good, and we'll document our results there, and we still got to get over to the uh, speaker and fill coil output transformer as well. So again, hey guys, thanks for uh, watching, uh, it's much appreciated, take care.